wishbone What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination On such a little Saving this spot for my squeaky book. Once, I like having Wishbone dig up my garden. Wanda, when you've tried the best, who needs the rest? I knew you'd come around. Spring is the perfect time to make a new beginning. Mm, yeah, just don't get all mushy on me, okay? Gotta do my job. You know, the soil's a little hard. Oh, I know. But for these beauties, you have to wait until you're sure the weather will stay warm. One chill and they're doomed. Well, it's really up to the fates now. Yeah, and as fate would have it, I'm ready for another one. Wanda. Well, I see Wishbone's ready for another. Hey, what's the holdup? Come on, Sam, dig! This time rub your nose in it. Excuse me. Get a load of farmer Sam. Are you... Weird Wanda's new field hand. DeMont, you need help. Do you see what I'm doing? It's called being a friend. You know, you should try it sometime. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> DeMont, he just doesn't like to see anybody happy. You know, folks like that can make nice people turn mean. That's what happens to Edmond Dantes. The hero of The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. He's the same guy who brought you The Three Musketeers. Innocent, happy Edmond Dantes was a sailor living in Marseille, France in 1815. He was as faithful and obedient as, well, a dog. Monsieur Morel. I've brought your ship and cargo back safely. You heard of our misfortune. Yes, it's terrible. Captain Leclerc fell ill and died. We shall honor his memory. Oh, excuse me for a moment. Lower the flag and pennant to half mast. Slope the yards. Monsieur, I have the ship's accounts. Ah, Danglars, good to see you. We'll review them first thing in the morning. He's done a good job taking over and bringing the ship back home after the accident, eh? I suppose. For such a puppy. Yes. He's young, but he knows the sea. And I'm told that the crew all love him. Is that true? If you say so, sir, it must be. Sorry about the interruption. Oh, hello, Danglars. Please excuse me. <clears throat> And now that the ship's in harbor, sir, may I be permitted to... I know. You need time to marry your enchanting fiancé. Yes, sir! <laughs> Hurry home. The Pharaon cannot sail without a new captain. New captain? You mean me? Thank you, Monsieur Morel. I'm honored. I know. You would rather hold another hand. Off with you. He leaves port a common sailor and returns a hero. You know, Caderousse, I should be the new captain, not he. Poor 
favor, Mercedes. Easter is the perfect time for a wedding. Give me an answer. I have answered you a hundred times. I love Edmond Dantes and no other. Mercedes! Being a sailor is so dangerous. What if he should die? If he is dead, I too shall die. But if he forgets you... Edmond! Mi amor! Mercedes! My love! Look at the way she fawns over him. Straightening his collar, nuzzling his nose. Poor Fernand. So the wedding is for sure? As sure as Dantes will be captain of the Pharaon. One thing stands between us and happiness, and his name is Edmond Dantes. What can we do? We will tell the authorities. that on his last voyage, Edmond paid a visit to the island of Elba. The home of the banished emperor Napoleon. We can say he consorted with traitors. He'll be thrown in jail forever. I will be free to woo Mercedes. I'll be captain of the Pharaoh. I'm so happy. You will be my wife, and I'll be a captain at 20. <laughs> I'm afraid it's too good to be true. How odd. Mm, what is it, my sweet? <laughs> Sudden chill in the air. <sighs> Damont makes my fur stand up. He gives me the chills. He... Hey, wait a minute. What's this? Good heavens. It's too warm just now. Get a load of David. That is literally way cool. It's awesome. I'm really impressed, David. Thanks, it's my test model. I want to be able to build snowmen in the summer. David, you got it to work. Yeah, I'm really psyched. That's not the real thing. How does it work? Well, I got this condenser out of an old refrigerator. How ingenious. Now, the hopper I made out of an old ice chest. The one you borrowed from me? Yeah. <laughs> Back here between the water bottle and the hopper, I put a needle down to create a fine water mist. I'm so sick of hearing about him. He's so lame. Yeah. You know, on Monday, all the teachers will be talking about Mr. Perfect over there. Mr. Science thinks he can control the weather. And now that's an idea. What are you gonna do? Tonight, there's gonna be a blizzard in Wanda's garden. And who's gonna take the blame? David? Bingo. Stay my friend forever. Okay, Demont? What are you talking about? I just don't want you to be my enemy. Shut up. Poor David, he doesn't suspect a thing. Neither did Edmond Dantes. I can't tell you how happy we are celebrating our engagement, surrounded by the people who love us most. <laughs> I don't know how I have deserved the honor of becoming Mercedes' husband. <laughs> Will one Monsieur Edmond Dantes make himself known? That's me. I have a warrant for your arrest. Is this a joke? There must be a mistake. What has he done? I cannot say. Please surrender yourself, Monsieur Dantes. Uh, of course I will. I'll find out what's happening, Edmond. Edmond! Don't worry. Au revoir, Mercedes. At least tell me of what I am accused. We are forbidden. But if I could just talk to someone Silence. in... Silence! But I'm... I'm getting married.
Tell me, what do you know? They've sent him to Chateau d'If. But that is for political prisoners. This is lunacy. He is innocent. I know. But they said that he is a traitor. That he conspired with Napoleon himself. Ridiculous! But what proof do they have? A statement sworn by three witnesses. But who? <laughs> No, wait. Please, let me speak to someone in authority. Your commanding officer, the warden. I don't want to make trouble, but you've got the wrong man. All right, you want to play rough? No more, Monsieur Nice Guy. Hey, stop. Wait, don't you know who I am? I am Edmond Dunhill, captain of the good ship Ferron. You are prisoner number 34. <laughs> no! Merci, Anglais! Merci, Anglais! Wishbone, quiet down. Joe, thank goodness you're here. He's out there, right now. Look! You can sleep with me. No, wait. You don't understand. Don't mind. It... Okay. Joe, look! Uh, why doesn't he speak better dog? All right, David. You love how everyone's always talking about you. Let's see how you feel tomorrow. This is gonna be so sweet. Well, don't we look chipper this morning? Good morning, beauties. There you go. What? How could... Oh, I don't believe it. David? I'm very disappointed. What's wrong? I know you're excited about your snow machine, but... Well... My innocence is shattered. Frostbitten. Ruined. Yet I enjoyed it while it lived. But I didn't do it. David, don't make it worse. I mean, I didn't do it. Don't worry, David. Damont can't hide forever. I'm really sorry you got grounded, David. Yeah, it's not fair. Don't waste time talking about it. I can only see you guys for a minute. Well, what did you want to talk about? I think I've been set up. By whom? I don't know. I've been thinking and thinking. But I'm stuck. David, read my lips. Damanta. Damanta. Wait a minute, I don't have lips. Try to find something out. Okay, we'll try. You've got to. I can't go anywhere for a whole week. Poor kid, locked up in solitary. Be strong, David. Edmond Dantes was left to rot in prison. For 14 years, not knowing why he was a prisoner, all he knew was loneliness. He was nearly mad. He stopped eating. He nearly gave up. And then... What was that? Probably a mole. An awfully large mole. <gasps> Who are you? Abe Faria. Fellow victim of injustice. I have spent many years in this wasteland. A friend at last. I've been so lonely. How can you keep sane? 
Oh, by uh, memorizing books, by studying the stars through the tiny window of myself. Although lately I've been digging around looking for escape. Digging just happens to be one of my specialties. You dig some, I'll teach some. <laughs> I've got to help David escape. If only there was a clue. Oh, I definitely smell a demont. All right, Buster! What are you doing here, Demont? Wishbone sit. No false moves. I just came to see if Frosty could make a little snow for me. Well, he's grounded. Really? Too bad. So I started thinking. DeMont sure seemed interested in your machine. That's right. Follow the lead. And he's always jealous of you. Home in on the target. And I saw him creeping around your house. Bullseye! I bet it is DeMont. Oh, I can't believe that he'd stoop that low. <sighs> I never saw it coming. I was such a dummy. Don't say that, David. You don't think like a criminal. That's good. Remember? Abbe Faria gave Edmond many lessons, and the Abbe used his wisdom to answer Edmond's burning question. <clears throat> and so they arrested me, but I never found out who set me up. You were so innocent then. What do you mean? Danglar wanted your job. Fernand wanted your fiance. They must have betrayed you. Those cowards. It's stolen my life! Calm down. You were ignorant of evil. I have taught you the ways of the world. You must focus your anger. Keep digging. But we've hit bedrock! It's too hard. We'll never get out of here! Abe? Abe? What's wrong? I can't go on. My body is too weak. You're just tired. Rest. Give me a lesson while I dig. Edmond, I'm dying. Leave me here. Stop talking like that. You'll be fine. Now listen to me. Before I was sent to jail, I inherited an enormous treasure. I buried it on the island of Monte Cristo. Take it, Edmond. Promise me you will escape this dungeon. I'll try. Promise. I will escape, Mon Père. I'll find a way. Edmond Dantes was desperate. When the Abbe died, Edmond hid inside the burial cloth. Is this the one? Must be. Ready? rescued by a pirate gang and headed for the Isle of Monte Cristo. Once on the island, Edmond found riches beyond his wildest dreams. There, he picked up the scent of his enemies. I will use every ounce of gold, all these riches, to seek revenge. 
Innocent Edmond Dantes is dead. From this day forward, I am the Count of Monte Cristo. It's payback time. Let's go. So, we're going to call the Mont's parents, right? Well, I can't leave home, but this baby can. Do you think Demond will try to use it again? I hope so. You do? Why? Because instead of water, I'm going to fill a tank with a special kind of food coloring. Okay. Time out. I'm going to plug the nozzle like this. Oh. So if anyone tries to use it, they get dye all over their clothes. Exactly. DeMont's going to be a marked man. David, you are a genius. Guys, I don't think this is the solution. I want to set up the trap outside. This will be the bait. Revenge will be so sweet. That's the wrong lesson, David. I have got to get a translator. Edmond had changed so much that in Paris, no one recognized him as the Count of Monte Cristo. He was rich, so no one cared who he was. He tracked down Fernand. Hurry, wife. I won't be late for the opera. Fernand had bought his way into high society. But there was something worse. Not my dear Mercedes. I paid extra to get seats with the Duc d'Orléans. The Duc is so coarse and mean. <laughs> He's rich. That's all I need. That's it, Fernand. You've stolen everything from me. It's time the world knew what a villain you are. Ali, my private telegraph, please. Well, I am ready to spread the news. Special to Le Monde du Paris. Fernand de Morcef is a fraud. His scandalous past is here revealed. I'm ruined! <coughs> oh, David, you little rat! I'll get you for this! Aha! Caught red-handed! So to speak. What's going on? Ah, stay back, Wanda! David's revenge is out of control! And getting all over me! Uh, you little rat! Uh, Fernand de Mosef's son to see you, sir? I've been expecting this. You, Count, you have destroyed my father's good name. He destroyed it himself many years ago. I will avenge his reputation. I challenge you to a duel. To the death? To the death. So be it. Mercedes. Edmond. Edmond Dantes. Me? You must be mistaken, madame. I know it's you. I've looked for you all these years. Stop. It's too late. For us, yes. This is not the life I dreamed of either. But Edmond, is your thirst for revenge so great that you would destroy me, too? Your husband stole my life. I won't let your son steal my pride. For your pride, you would kill the one thing that I love most. No. I could never hurt you, Mercedes. I can't change the past, and I won't hurt the innocent. Thank you. So much for revenge. Joe, how's Wishbone doing? Not so good. He's been hiding a lot. We tried washing him, but all the dye won't come out. I look like cotton candy with four legs and a tail. So much for revenge. And I owe you an apology, David. I'm really sorry. That's OK. What about DeMont? I talked to his parents. I've got a full-time weed puller for a month. <laughs> I meant to bust DeMont. Never meant to cream Wishbone. He's innocent. I brought this to apologize to him. Come on, boy. This is so embarrassing. Hmm. This looks interesting. Each time you depress this little lever with your paw, 
Surprise. Get a treat. Hey, what do you know? Kid might be onto something. <laughs> nice colors. Let's see now. You push this down and you get a treat. Oh, mm, mm, hey, great. You know, treatment like this, pretty soon I'll be in the pink of health. Ooh, that was a pun, wasn't it? Oh, well, let's see it. Ooh, hey, I'm getting good at this. Um, David, does this thing come with free refills, buddy? Ready? Dante's passed through the oh. air like a wounded bird falling. <laughs> at last, there came a terrific splash as he dropped into the icy cold water. What if we didn't hear this sound described in the Count of Monte Cristo? Rather lifeless, don't you think? To make this scene more realistic, we need sound effects. What about the sound of the seagulls in this harbor scene? With the wrong sound effect, the scene just won't work. That's it. That's it. Don't! That's not the right sound effect. A TV show can make a big splash with sound effects. Dive into a book yourself and imagine your own sound effects. Books like The Count of Monte Cristo are available at your local library. Check them out!